Alright, hello and welcome back to my LP of High Mario World. Last time we were at the Red Switch Palace, and I know it's been a while, but... You know, exams, yada yada yada. So apparently this level isn't really intended to be LP'd, or played through normally. It's mainly meant to be TAS, so Kaizo's even provided me with an invincibility cheat to get through it. Considering I used a key jump to even get in here, I suppose that's kind of why it, it was mainly meant to be TAS'd. So I, I I went through the level uh, off camera just to check it out. Uh, those shells, basically, I'm supposed to flip a couple up there so that I I can access them later, and then I take the third shell up. But I can't do that now because if I try to grab them when I have invincibility, I I just kill them like I did there. So when, I I need all three shells to be able to finish the level, and that part's doable. Like, I, I could do that without the cheat code, but, in fact, I can't even do it with the cheat code, but, uh, once I'm up here, uh, I get all three shells down up here and then flip them through these gaps and just leave them there, and then I can hit this P, and these Koopas will fall into the shells and be able to get right into them and be able to continue on their way, so the shells will be able to come over here and because their yellow coop is getting in the shells uh, they'll be the multicolored things that you can contr sort of control with your movements and then at this point you'd have to bounce along the shells and this is the part that I'd never be able to do because uh, you won't don't have any time to react under this ceiling so and then you have a couple other shells uh, coming over from the right and this is why you need all three of the shells because each one will die the first two will, will die to these, and then you can bounce off the last one and, as it dies and hit the red switch. So that's how you beat the red switch palace, essentially. But I can't do that without I, the invincibility cheat. I, I can't really TAS at all. I don't really... Like, I, I know how it works, but... I I haven't really done any, so I just turned the invincibility cheat off so that I can avoid. Okay, it's neat. <laughs> All right, so now we're in Vanilla Dome, and let's just make another safe state here, and let's get going. Okay, so there's no water in the... Oh, giant question block. Okay, so, so the water's intermittent. I see uh, the stretches of water. Okay, I swear it changed position. It's weird. I kind of feel like the... Okay, I died. I kind of feel like the water's in the other places that... It is actually not in, so I'm getting messed up here. It seems like those blocks sort of uh, go with the screen. Like if you're higher up, they'll oh, they'll come down depending on where you are on the screen. So that's how they shove you all the way down. Uh oh. Not gonna get me that easily this time. Hi, 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 hi. So I guess the trick is just to turn back every time you see one of those coming. I'll just stay up towards the top here. There doesn't seem to be any fish here at the moment. So I can't stay up towards the top after all. All right, where do I go from here? Oh, there we go. There's the finish. Oh, fairly neat level. I guess you're so used to hitting the question blocks when they hit you, it's a bit of a surprise. <laughs> Alright, vanilla dome level 2, and it's a trippy secret level. Why did I do that? Alright. Oh, free life, just for entering, I guess. This blue block hurts you from the side, so you can safely touch it from the top and bottom. Screen block hurts you from the top and bottom. You can safely touch it from the sides. Oh, really? 
I swear I, I guess I only checked it from the top and bottom before in the tutorial area, so I thought it just killed you, period. Uh, okay, I'm dead. There is some water there, so I might be able to swim under that, or maybe I have to go in and into the secret. This halfway point will spawn me. Yeah, there we go. I'm on the other side now. Oh, wow. Okay, that was death. Alright, so I'll, I'll have to keep ter careful track of which blocks I can hit where. Alright, so I can slide along the top here. And I can slide along the left here. Slide along this safely. Ah, oh, dang it. I, t I nicked the side there. Trying to slide over it. Alright. I don't know how fast I'm supposed to be moving here, so hopefully I'm moving fast enough. Dang it. I see a key spot for a door here. Better make that note of that for later because oops well I had it that time I almost got it oops forgot which ones were which Alright, so I'm. Oh, crap. So you said. Have, having a safe platform right when I walk off. So I adjusted myself the wrong way. Okay, I can't jump up while hugging the wall like that. Man, this level is really messing with my mind. I'm so used to thinking of one thing as death and another thing as not death. It, I kind of have to intermittently think of each one as death depending on where I am. Alright, so let's jump across these icy blocks here. Oh, coin trail, that always means good things. Oh, the finish, that's a really good thing. Now, I saw another path back there, I'm not sure where I'm supposed to get the P for that, but that was a really cool level. I liked how it kind of made you think sideways. Towards the end, I was worried and kind of had to plan my jumps there. Alright, so I can either go here, I can go back and finish the secret exit right now. I think I might go here first. So let's see what Vanilla Dome 3 has to offer. You will encounter a red block. It will provide eggs that you can throw. <laughs> Yoshi's Island style, I guess. Just press the grab button while standing on it to get an egg. Okay. And does this give me the same? Dark blue blocks are water. Brown blocks hurt you from the top. But you can walk through them. Just don't jump while you're in them. Okay. It's weird because I'm standing on dark blue blocks right now. This is two different types then. Okay, so I can hit the top of this all I want. One thing I've noticed is that the green blocks, the dark green blocks, are slightly more forgiving than the light blue blocks. Okay. Okay, made it through there. What are the light blue blocks then? Then we're saying with that.
Alright, I hope I don't die stepping on those. Okay, it just seems like a normal block. Egg. Alright, so it seems like the only way I'm going to die here is if I kill myself. So I'll try not to do that, obviously. I'm playing kind of conservatively. Oh, it only took one hit. Alright, there we go. Victory. I did it. I am the master. Alright. I'm not the master. I'd prefer to be the doctor, really. Alright, and I've got a water level. Yep, water level. Okay, so let's go back here and do this now. I keep doing that. Why do I keep doing that? Alright, I already did this bit, so I'll immediately die this time. Um, I'll get back to where I was and uh, meet you there. Alright then, so this is the crossroads. I don't know where I'm going to get a pee from, so let's just keep going and hope it all works out. Um, so I can easily stop just by squishing up against these green walls, but I can't land on the green walls. Um, oh. I can just go in there, okay. And I win! I'm not even sure how, though. I didn't even see a finish there, but whatever. I'm not gonna complain about winning. Alright, so I think I might call this episode here. I think this seems like a good time. I don't think I'll be cutting out... What did that do? Well, I guess we'll figure that out next time. Until then, see you later.